Over the years, the ease of and support for manual focusing has waxed and waned as camera technology has changed. Since the introduction of autofocus cameras in the late 80s, the ease of manual focusing has largely been on the decline. With computers and motors doing the work, less emphasis was been placed on the user's ability to actually focus. Viewfinders were made brighter at the expense of being able to see depth of field, and lenses were made to focus faster at the expense of shorter manual focus throws. However, as anachronistic as it may seem, manual focusing has never ceased to be a useful tool for the photographer. Fortunately, between mirrorless cameras and focus-by-wire lenses, manual focus is easier to do now and do more accurately than ever before. What's up everybody, I'm Jason and welcome back to some more tips and tricks for the EOS R5. This is part one in a three-part series looking at manual focusing on the EOS R5 and its siblings. In this video I'm going to look at the basics of manual focusing including the broad capabilities and limitations. In the second part I'll cover the, uh, all of the manual focusing guides and aids available on the camera. And finally in the last part I'll take a deep dive into the settings that control and affect how manual focusing behaves. Now, as with most of these videos, much, if not all, of what I'm going to cover here also applies to the EOS R5's siblings, including the EOS R, RP, R6, and R3. However, I own and use an EOS R5, and so that's what I've used for all of my testing and is the primary focus in these videos. As such, if you use one of those other cameras, then there may be some differences between your camera and mine and what I describe here. So, let's start with the most basic point, putting the camera into manual focus mode. Whether the camera is in manual focus mode or not is an important distinction because activation of some focusing aids is also tied to this state. For most RF lenses and all EF lenses, you'll find a switch on the lens that's labeled AF slash MF. Switching this to manual focus, the MF position, puts the camera in manual focus mode. New to RF lenses is the inclusion of an on-lens control ring. Most RF lenses will include this as a second for prime or third for zooms control ring on the lens. However, for some lenses, Canon has combined the two functions into a single ring, those two functions being the control ring and focusing. For these lenses, instead of an AF-MF switch on the lens, you'll find a focus control switch on the lens that allows you to select the ring's function. At the time of recording, these lenses include the RF 16mm f2.8 STM, RF 24-105mm f4.5-5.6 IS STM, and RF 24-240mm f4-7.1 IS STM. With these lenses, you'll need to set the focus slash control switch to focus so that you can actually focus the lens, and then in your camera's AF1 menu page, change the focus mode setting to manual focus so that the camera is actually in manual focus mode. The two steps are necessary as these combined ring lenses will allow you to use full-time manual focusing capabilities in autofocus mode. So it's not just as simple as focus mode equals manual focus uh, focusing. If you frequently use one of these lenses and manual focusing, you may want to consider adding the focus mode entry to a custom my menu page. I've covered this in process in another video, which I'll link in the description below. As for third-party RF lenses, the market segment is new enough that I don't have a comprehensive understanding of the nuances and detail overall. So for this video, I'm going to be confining myself in this discussion to just Canon's RF and EF lenses. That said, third-party EF lenses should behave the same as Canon's EF lenses. When the camera is in manual focus mode, an MF icon will appear in the upper left corner of the display. In some cases, the MF icon may blink. This indicates that manual focus mode has been triggered temporarily by the camera's software, and this can occur, for example, when overriding focus after one shot AF. Additionally, full-time manual focusing is also possible with the vast majority of RF and EF lenses, at least in some form or another. Specifically, all RF lenses and most EF lenses can be focused without having to set the lens to manual focus, depending on the lens and camera's configuration. Additionally, some RF lenses such as the RF 100-500mm f4.5-7.1 L ISUSM also have an additional full-time manual focus capability that overrides the normal electronic focusing behavior when the camera is set for front button focusing and allows the lens to be focused at any time. 
Broadly speaking though, full-time manual focus lenses fall into two categories, electronic and mechanically controlled. Electronic focusing lenses include all RF lenses, all STM lenses regardless of mount, and some specific EF mount USM lenses such as the EF 600mm F4 L IS-3 USM. With these lenses, the camera must be on before the lens can be focused, and in some situations the camera can prevent the lens from focusing when the focus ring is turned. Mechanically focusing lenses, such as EF lenses with ring USM motors, have a direct connection between the focus ring and the focusing element. This means that turning the focus ring will shift the focus regardless of the focusing mode, AF-MF switch position, or the camera's power state. In short, you can always turn the focus ring and the lens will focus. However, be aware that with these lenses, the camera does not detect that the lens is being manually focused and as a result will not automatically trigger manual focusing aids as it does with RF lenses. If you want the manual focusing aids, you'll need to flip the lens into manual focusing mode. Another consideration for electronic focusing lenses is that Canon cameras currently don't support manual focusing while the lens is stopped down. That is, you can't hold the depth of field preview button and focus the lens. Now, if you're asking why you'd want to do this, the answer has to do with more accurately focusing lenses that experience focus shifts when stopped down, such as the RF 100mm f2.8 L IS USM macro or the RF 70-200mm f4 L IS USM. Optimally, these lenses would be focused stop down all the time to minimize focus errors. Frustratingly, there's currently no option to either force focusing stopped down or allow focusing to work while holding the depth of field preview button. What makes this doubly annoying to me at least is that the focus guide, magnification, and peaking aids all still work when the depth of field button is held down. Moreover, in some cases, such as when shooting video, auto focusing is done stopped down as well. So it's not like the camera camera lacks the capability to do this, it's just that the software prevents us from doing it. One final consideration with electronic focusing lenses is whether the camera is configured for back button focusing or shutter button focusing, or more specifically whether the shutter button's half press function is set to metering and autofocus start, or either metering start or auto exposure lock. For whatever reason, Canon's engineers decided that back button focusing users would need, want, or just get much more complete full-time manual focusing capabilities than front button focusing users. For example, as a back button user, I can turn my camera on and as soon as the display comes up, manually focus any of my RF lenses without having to switch them to manual focus mode or having to focus on something with one shot AF. Moreover, this capability extends to all RF lenses, not just the ones that are advertised as having full-time manual focus feature, like the RF 100-500. So for example, my RF 24-70 f2.8 L IS USM, which doesn't have the full-time manual focusing feature, will focus at any time I rotate the focus ring while my camera is set up for back button focusing, but will only focus in manual focus mode or depending on the settings after one shot AF has completed when set to front button focusing. With all that said, I'm going to wrap up this first part of this mini-series here. In the next video, I'll look at the four focusing aids for the EOS R or that the EOS R5 provides. These are the distance scale, the magnification function, focus peaking, and the manual focus guide. So if you found this useful, let me know by hitting that like button. Also, if this kind of thing seems like it might be your kind of thing, please consider subscribing if you're not already. Remember, you can't forget to unsubscribe later if you don't subscribe now. Finally, if you know someone who might find this useful, help them and me by sharing it with them. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.